Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. And I'm Kyle Linsky. Well, some ears, they may still be ringing tonight. Some hearts still swelling over the return of the Who here to Cincinnati. The band making its first appearance since 1979 when 11 young people died in the crush of the crowd at Riverfront Coliseum. David Winter was at that concert last night. He joins us now in studio. And David, I know they uh, highlight, or at least one of the highlights, those Finney Town students on stage. Yeah, absolutely, Paula. It was so poignant. Of the 11 people who died in 1979, three of them were students from Finneytown High School. So the WHO asked the high school to bring students to perform with the band, one representing each of those who never left their concert four decades ago. The WHO's last song of the night, the iconic Baba O'Reilly, features students from Finneytown High School singing those famous words before 14,000 screaming fans. We met with three of the girls about 12 hours after they were on stage. It's very surreal. I still don't feel like it was real. I feel like it was an absolute dream. Seniors Anna Tenenfeld, Kay Nick, and junior Angelina Bush were three of the 11 students who were chosen to represent the 11 students who died nearly 43 years ago at the WHO concert at Riverfront Coliseum. That significance not lost on the girls. It was Kay's first rock concert. At that concert, it was a lot of their first concerts too, so... And uh, it's just imagining that I was one, I made it out alive and they didn't. It was really cool remembering them through us performing and us living through what they went through. Uh, it was a big responsibility to go up there and have the chance to honor these kids, not just from our school, but from all the other schools and everyone who died that night. <laughs> There were several mentions at the concert of the 11 killed in the crush of people in 1979, including this piano solo showing their pictures. And while these girls are two generations removed from the tragedy, the Penn Memorial at their school is a constant reminder for them, one letter representing the three Finneytown students who died. It was a great concert and I just really hope that it helps everyone heal a little bit from what happened uh, in 1979. And you really got a sense that it did. The WHO incidentally endows annually three students from Finneytown with college scholarships. One of those girls that you just met, Anna, she is one of the recipients of this year's PEM scholarship. Paula? Mm -hmm. Thank you, David. And the WHO donated all of last night's concert profits to PEM and other nonprofits in the area that benefit student artists.